those that believe. Read on. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. And flee into his own land. Now here's a question. All you immigrants, and y'all live in New York, you know this place is nothing but immigrants. Everyone have a green card. If something happens and there, and there is a pandemic and a great emergency, they'll have a place to go back to because they have dual citizenship. What happens to you? What happens to you? If there's an influenza pandemic where, where they're giving you a chance to leave before you catch this flu, what happens to you? Where is your country? Where? Where? So you see how important it is to understand this book? If you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're going to be. Chinese people are going to cash in. Okay, I'm out. I'm going to turn my money into euros, I'm out. Okay? Africans, who are all on your stands, are going to cash in and get out. Who's going to be left when it's a pandemic? You. Why? Because the Bible calls what's about to happen Jacob's trouble. We are Jacob. Jacob's name was turned to Israel. It's our trouble. And the Lord compared what's going to happen as a woman in travail. As the baby's being born, as it's coming down, the contractions and pains get more and more. So before we are delivered, we must go through pain. <laughs> and the closer we get through this, get to this deliverance, we must go through it. Now you're gonna have a choice, because I'm gonna show you what the Lord say do. No, let me finish, brother. I'm gonna show you what the Lord say do. If you stay here. There's a greater chance you're going to die here. And don't say that there's, there's not life any place else because all the other people that are getting paid off you came from someplace else. And the Bible say they're going back. So they have a place. And the place they're going, they have TV, they have satellites, they have furniture. Only the slaves think there's nothing outside of this place. You've been conditioned to stay a consumer. That was the biggest, that was the greatest part of the psychology they put on the slaves. To make you think there was no life outside of the plantation. Read on. Verse 15. Everyone that is found should be thrust through. Read it again. Everyone that is found should be thrust through. When this war go down, everyone that is found is going to die, man. If you're up in this piece. Read. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So if you try to uphold America like this guy, economic crisis since the great this dude is not the savior. We were losing an average. He's a fall guy. Thousand jobs per month. They put him there to the keep you frozen, still. And our financial while they plan on how, how how to dispose your body. As any American who is still looking for He's work keep or a way still. to pay their bills, while you're going you, through pain, while you're losing your no jobs. While you're losing your jobs, while you're losing your houses, he'll be there smiling. He'll be there smiling and saying, listen, don't worry about it. I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. And while you're suffering and losing everything and can't pay, make ends meet, he'll be bailing out the rich people that put him in his position. Somebody tell me one thing he did for black people yet. One thing. Nothing. But but just been black. To make you feel good that a black man achieved a achieved to sit on a country that's what about the president to fall. has ever done anything for any black person. I mean, do we really need to tear this man down because he's black now? Brother, brother. Brother, sister, sister. I'm, sister, I'm not going to tear him down. Let's not do that. We don't sister, have to do sister, that to make our point. Sister, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you why him along with the system should be tore down. Read on. Verse 16. Their children also should be dashed to pieces. Read it again. Their children also should be dashed to pieces. Any man that has set you up to die should be exposed. Okay? You don't bail out the same rich people that have enslaved us and destroyed this earth. You don't sit there and sign the papers to bail everybody out while the poor is getting prepared to die. You take care of the poor first. That's what Christ would do. So we're not here to uphold, we're here to tear down any man that would hold up a country that have enslaved and destroyed the people. He should have told them, take, take your seat. 
I'm going to sit down here with my people. Read on. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. I will do what? Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. The Most High says he's going to stir up the Medes against this country. Who are the Medes? The Persians. The Iranians. So they're being stirred up right now. Iran has launched more than a dozen ballistic missiles at joint U.S.-Iraqi facilities in Iraq. At least two bases have been targeted. One of them is in Erbil and also the Ain al-Assad airbase in Anbar province. Also, Iran's Revolutionary Guard has issued a warning to Israel and other U.S. That's allies right, in the region saying right they will be attacked if their Iran. countries are used According to the Bible prophecy, that's the country that Tehran. do what? Read. Behold, I will stir up the knees against them, and do what? which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. They're not going to be like Americans, okay? They're not going to delight in your silver and your gold. You can't buy the Persians, because they have something America don't, don't understand, dignity and honor. They have dignity and honor. You can't buy the Persians. You can't buy the Iranians. Really? Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. Their what? Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. Read on. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. The Lord says, when this army come over here, they shall have no pity over the fruit of the womb. They're not going to care about the children here. Read on. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, Excellency shall be as when the Mosai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Read that part again. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, Excellency shall be as when the Mosai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. The Mosai said it's going to be like this place when they, he overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, when it rained fire. That's the future of the country we're sitting in right now. But the question is, what you going to do? Let me bring one scripture though. I, I want to bring something that's key here. All right? I'm going to tell you. This, this is the beautiful thing about the Most High. His prophecy is going to go down whether you listen or not. Whether you believe or not, it's going down. You can ignore it, walk away from it, but you're going to face it. You're going to face it when some guys are knocking on your door telling you, listen, follow those guys going that way and putting tags on your behind. You're going to believe it. When this place becomes a military country, you're going to believe it then. You're not going to have your freedom. At the direction of General Tim Gowan, today 1,000 Maryland National Guard soldiers and airmen have been fully activated and another 1,200 guardsmen are currently on enhanced readiness. Governor Kemp is calling on the Georgia National Guard to help stop the spread of the virus. 11 Alive Shanu Her explains what role they will play in the state's response. Okay, you can ignore it now, but you're gonna know the spirit of the Most High was amongst you. Read on. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, shall be what? the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, shall be as when the Mosai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Come on. It shall never be inhabited. And after this go down, after Persia deal with America, no one will live here again. It will never be inhabited. It's over. So some people think that you can just sit here and God is going to take you somewhere before the armies come. We're going to have to get off our behind and actually build our nation. No handouts. If the other nations can do it, you can do it. Don't tell me you don't have it because they use you to build everything we see. What about using some of those gifts for yourself? Read on. And Babylon, Verse 20, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. There'll be no more children here. No more having kids here. It's over. Read. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there. there ain't going to be no Arabs setting up stores here anymore either. It's over. Read. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Go ahead. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. 
and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there. And they show that in I Am Legend. Mm -hmm. When there's one guy running around, and guess who's living in all the big pit houses? Animals. Dares. Wild animals running through the city. That's what's coming here. Right after the nuclear fallout, when everything's settled, nothing is going to be able to live here. But for a short time, you have roads running through and little dares and all that running through the cities. No people will be left. Read. Owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant places. And her time is near to come, and her days should not be prolonged. Our time is, her time is near to come, and her days will not be prolonged. That means... The Most High is going to speed up the time. You know those days are going like that. They're passing like that. He's speeding it up. He's speeding it up, brothers and sisters. And you know what? We're happy it's happening. We're not afraid. But we're warning the people. It's time for people to change. Not the change that a politician can bring you. So go to Ezekiel 33 and 33. We're leaving this country soon. Something was on that sister to make us just get up, get up, just get up out of nowhere and go to Israel. And I'm, and I'm gonna show you how blessed this was that the sister went to Israel. I want, I want you to show the sister. I'm gonna show you how blessed it is that the sister went to Israel. 33 and 33. This is how blessed it is. She went there and came back healthy to prove to you that there's life someplace else. That you can go if you believe. She went on straight faith with nothing and the Most High preserved her and brought her back. So the Lord gave this family a sign that you have a way of refuge. You shouldn't be afraid. The Lord had her go out like a spy to spy out the land so you'll know what to do when you get there. Read Ezekiel 33 and 33. Read that. And when and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Go to the verse before, the 32nd verse. The 30th verse. Also, the Son of Man, the children of thy people, still are talking against thee by the walls and the doors of the house. That's what's going to happen. When we leave here, people are going to talk. They're going to be like, man, we got to really think about this. But the Lord says, when one heareth the word and understandeth it not, then come the wicked one to try to steal what was sown in your heart. You know what will happen? Satan going to throw a diversion and you're gonna, it's going to be like this conversation never happened. At first it's going to hit you. You're going to think about it for a while, but something's going to happen where you're going to go back with your normal life. TV can do that. <laughs> yeah. Read on. Against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, go ahead. every one to his brother, saying, What they going to say? Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh from that cometh forth from the Lord. Man, y'all, y'all should have been here and heard what those brothers were dropping. Y'all need to come to hear what those brothers are dropping. Read. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. So people are coming and sit down and listen, but what? And they hear the words, but they will not do them. You say it again. And they hear the words, but they will not do them. This was the fourth vial which relates to Revelations chapter 16, verse 8. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. If you haven't already done so, check out the first three vials of this series, then come back to my page for vial five. Peace.